If you're interested in making money online or growing a YouTube channel, this video is for you. Hi and welcome and welcome back. I'm George Pierce and I do want to thank you for watching. This video is about creating a new website. Uh, I recently created a new website, so I want to share with you some of the steps that I took in case this is your first time. Uh, the main thing that I'm going to sh show you or share with you is uh, how I chose my site builder. And then I'll give you a few, maybe a few uh, simple tips on the actual site creation itself. And the couple of things that I'm going to add, I'm going to ask you to stick to the end. I want to show you or share with you how to set up your email accounts, your email address, and uh, set up a forwarder so that, and I, anyway, I want to show you how to set up your email accounts in a forwarder. So these are kind of important things that, uh, that will get you off to a good start when it comes to your website. So let's get right to it. And I am at the control panel. Uh, this is for uh, G. Pierce. Anyway, this is for my AIOP. And you can see I've used 197 out of 993. So I'm at two tenths of a percent on disk usage. Uh, so I've got, fortunately, a long ways to go. I've got two e email accounts, and that's one of the things I'm going to share with you is how to set up email accounts um, and how to set up your forwarder and your autoresponder. We're going to get to that in just a little bit. But mainly I want to get into how I set up the actual um, website. And the other thing I'm going to share with you, in fact, well, I'll do that right now, is Hostats. And there's these are... Uh, Typical of most websites, not all of them have have Austats, but Austats is a way to uh, it's a pretty good way to get a general idea of how your website is performing. And as you can see, mine is not performing, and that's because it's brand new. Get back to the uh, control panel, and what I did is I went to uh, Softaculous. These are the this is the Softaculous installer. And the first option was the SitePad Website Builder. And I've been less than happy with most site builders. Um, I'm very happy with Zero or Z-Y-R-O on both uh, Triple O Web Host and uh, Hostinger. But most other website builders, I'm just not crazy about them. And I'll show you. In, in a second why I was not crazy about. Now the, the plus is that all your pages are, a lot of your pages are at least are set up and they're in place, but here's why I didn't do it. I am waiting for this page and I don't want to tie you up, but it's 10% loaded and 10% and I'm not going to, 28% loaded and I'm sorry, I don't have time for that. So that's, I'm still waiting just to get to a page so that I can edit it. Now I have slow internet, so maybe with fast internet, uh, this is not a problem. But with my slow internet, this is a major problem for me because I, I need to spend my time getting stuff done and not waiting for pages to load. And that's one of the things uh, that I want to share with you. Uh, again, I'm still waiting. So, uh, so I passed on, uh, and as you can see, uh, I don't know how long it took, but I'm not going to find out. But what I did is I went to Portal CMS, and this is a list of the different uh, options that you have. These are basically all site builders. Um, uh, I'm going to share with you some of the site builders that I have used. Um, one is Concrete. It's an excellent site builder. Um, uh, but I and I, I was very tempted to use it, but it is a, it's also a little slow loading. And the speed at which a site builder loads is much more important nowadays than it used to be for one thing all the different stuff that we put on our website can tend to slow it up but the other thing is that uh, the site builder itself can be overpowering so it can slow it down if it's a big huge site builder 
Uh, and this is a pretty good size site builder. 96 megabytes is pretty good size. Uh, so I passed on that. I like this uh, site builder, 21.45. Uh, and I do have a, a website using that site builder, uh, or a couple of them, and I do like it. Um, but uh, what I wanted was something that was fast and simple. So what I was really going for was a site builder called Typesetter. And Typesetter is one of the fastest site builders live site I've used. This is an excellent, excellent site builder. Uh, even uh, on the free version is limited, uh, even the limited version is, is superb, but uh, I wanted speed, so I clicked on Typesetter, and that's what I was going to use. And what happened was that it said it hasn't had any updates. Typesetter has not been updated in more than two years and may long, no longer be maintained or supported by the script vendor. So I decided to pass. Uh, I do have a large website, unfortunately, that is on Typesetter. I love Typesetter. It's, uh, and what I'm looking for is a quick, simple site builder. I want a quick, simple blog. I want, I want basically everything to be quick and simple. Okay, so I ended up uh, going with Process Wire, and most of the reason why I did that was 4.9. Uh, it's a free pre PHP framework. It is open source, and what that simply means that it is. I know when it's open source, I, I happen to know that it's free and it's going to stay free. And there's no, I have nothing wrong with paying for a site builder, but uh, there's so many that that are excellent that you don't have to pay for. There's no really kind of no need to do that. So I went to Process Wire, clicked on Process Wire, and you can do this with any site builder that you decide to, to go with. Uh, and you can go with more than one. You could try process wire, such as I am doing. And then I clicked on install, and I'm not going to install it again since I've installed it, but I want to show you the install process. ggpierce.com. Now, you can, if I leave this blank, then it's going to be my main domain name, and that's what I did. So ggpierce.com is going to take you to Process Wire. So whatever I put on Process Wire, that's my main website. Now, I can type in here, let's say, forum, if I were going to install a forum. Uh, I can type in a social network, if I were going to put in a social network. I could type in store or, or whatever, if I'm going to put in an e-commerce site. So, But I left it blank, and then I filled in the... The details, as far as site setting, admin123 is fine. Um, admin name, you can use your name, you can use admin. Uh, the password, you've got to put in a password that has enough strength. Your admin email, you can use um, what I would do, and that's what I want to show you. Admin. ggpierce.com. I put in admin at ggpierce.com. I haven't set that mailbox up yet. I had not set it up. I have set it up. But technically, you haven't set this up yet. That's no big deal because uh, that's what I want to share with you. And then I simply click install and it will install. And then once it installs, go to all installations. Once it installs, then you're going to, uh, and you want it to send you a, an email down at the very bottom, email installation details, be sure to put an email address, and that way you will get the installation details. Now, the other thing that I can do, let's say I've, I've got this and I want to get logged into it, and I haven't been here for months, and I've, uh, I forgot, I can go to edit details. And that edit details is going to tell me the information that I need. And again, this is the this is the details. And mainly what I'm looking for is the address of the admin. Because I want to go to the admin, which I happen to again I happen to remember that, but that's the admin address. First thing I want to do is go to emails. And email accounts. I'm going to show you how to set up an email account and then a uh, 
you want to do a forwarder and an autoresponder. You don't have to do an autoresponder, but you, but it's it's not a bad idea. I've already set up admin at ggpierce.com. But here I would simply click create. And then I might put in sales, service, admin, help. Uh, put, let me put in, uh, so now, put in George Pierce. George Pierce at GG Pierce. Okay, and uh, password. Type in the password create a password, and then go down here and hit create. And then what I've done, as you can see here, admin at GG Pierce, George Pierce at GG Pierce. So I have two, uh, and again, admin and George Pierce, and also G Pierce is the default. Now I'm going to go back to my C panel, and I'm going to set up a forwarder. And what a forwarder is going to do is send me an email if somebody sends me an email I know it's going to forward that email to me add forwarder add forwarder address to forward George Pierce oh, George Pierce at and then forward to uh, type in an address here Add forwarder. All emails will be sent to. I've got a, a forwarder added. Now I'm going to add a, I'm gonna go back to the C panel, go back to email, and I'm going to add an autoresponder. This is a one time only autoresponder, and what it's going to do is send a message to whoever sent me a message saying that the message was received. That's, that's, all, that's all it's going to do. You do not have to do this, but it's it is a good idea. Add autoresponder. And what is this for? From ggpairs.com. Subject. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Thanks for your interest. Thanks for your interest. Your email has been received. And I will respond as soon as possible. Here. Send out immediately. Great. And the autoresponder has been created. And now let's go to the site builder. I'm going to the login. This is the login page for my site builder at the website. We're at the website. And this is real simple. This is internet marketing. This is the home page. Title. I can click on this. I can change that to whatever it might be. Cooking or how to cook or whatever your niche might be. Headline, internet marketing still works. A summary, struggling internet editors, just type it in. I can just click here, and as you can see, I can type in, I can change it, I can add more. And then the first page, uh, internet marketing, the beauty of internet marketing, and so on. Just fill the page out. This is a regular HTML editor. And what I typically do is I run the these pages here, I will do them on my HTML editor. I will click source, and then I will copy and paste. That way, I, they are saved in case anything's lost. I have all my pages. The other uh, thing that you want to do, and uh, so you want to do on-site SEO, and you can go to the Internet Marketing Training Center. Uh, there'll be a link below where you can go to the Affiliate Marketing Training Series, uh, the SEO video, and I'll leave a link below to that. So you can learn how to include your keywords in your meta section. And you want to include keywords in your, in your meta section, and that way that will help the search engine to know what your information is all about and to be able to find you. After I make any changes, I hit Save, and I can click on View. And that will allow me to see the website. I've got two pictures here, and I only want one. Uh, and I'll probably add another picture, another image in here to give it a little bit more life. I might add a video. 
later and just a real simple sight. It's been a while but I can still remember my first sight and I know that your first website is a big deal and so I don't want to take away from that big deal moment but I want you to understand that a fast, quick, simple and easy site builder is probably going to be your best choice especially if you are a newbie and the other thing is that you want something that is lightweight because you want it to load as fast as possible because people are accessing your website or your video or whatever they're accessing most everything now on the internet by phone as well you need to have a website that loads fast because phones are basically slow the main thing i wanted you to see was that it's real simple i mean bam you can get in there and create a whole page in, in, in seconds or minutes if this is the kind of information that kind of help that is, is a value to you go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell and that way you're not going to miss out on videos like this allow me to thank you for watching and uh, let you know that i do appreciate it i sincerely do appreciate it and i want to wish you much success